Hey, this is Alan with GameLark Remixes, and I'm joined by DieselC1 and Hashel05 for a special talk about their track Shuffle or Boogie from Final Fantasy VIII, which won the recent VG Cover subreddit August Challenge. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. I'm Dean. How you doing? And Thank you I'm for joining me, five. and congratulations on winning the August Cover Challenge for Reddit VG Covers. Thanks very much. Appreciate Thank it. you. So, uh, who came up with the idea for the the bluesy remix for this song? But, um, it's kind of both of us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like initially, it was my idea to make the, the the cover, but I asked Dean, "Hey man, uh, wanna join me on this one?" And he said yes. And he was the one who came up with the idea of the Texas shuffle. Yeah, initially I was supposed to play bongos on the track. And uh, we yeah. kind of did something a bit different with it. Yeah, uh, a little bit. <laughs> I sent him. A, I sent him. A, I sent Julian a Steve Ray Vaughan track, and uh, we thought, yeah, that's a, you know, that's, that's a really cool way of doing. It. Since it's kind of a shuffle anyway, mm -hmm. at least the chord progression is kind of in a shuffle kind of rhythm. So we thought, let's do something kind of Texasy, that kind of sludgy kind of blues. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, turns out really cool. I think. Yeah. So I'm yeah. glad everyone likes it. And the what the original had kind of a Western vibe to it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it kind of had that. Texasy kind of feel. Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't too far of a leap to push it more in the blues territory, but it obviously turned out really well. And uh, I had a couple questions about the the cover, starting with uh, that's one one badass cowboy hat that you have, Diesel. I was wondering <laughs> I where, from, whether you got that from the states. I got that from Disneyland when I was eleven. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a bit small for me now. I've had it for a while. <laughs> you definitely put put it to good use in the video. Thank you. And can you describe, either one of you can answer this, but can you describe the process? You said, uh, you know, Hashel kind of came up with the idea to cover the song, and then, you know, you said Stevie Ray Vaughan influences. Did, you know, did you guys, um, was it a quick recording process? Was it a slower one? How did that work? Um, well, I mean, like, our recording process is kind of awkward, like, at best, like, most of it was done about three days before we had to hand it in because we yeah. forgot the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did the rhythm guitar about a month in advance, or maybe three weeks beforehand, and then we just kind of left it for a while. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it was to, Julian was going to record his acoustic solo, and then he discovered his acoustic was out of batteries. So we were like, um, right, fuck it. So he did a slide <laughs> with a spoon, and I thought yeah, that was just spoon, awesome. Man. Oh, and that was actually one of my other questions but i'll get to that later <laughs> ah sorry <laughs> and also at first i was really not co confident because texas shuffle uh is out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. so at start the the initial idea was i play rhythm section and uh, the select plays the melody mm -hmm. and then we are just doing the other way i play the melody he plays the rhythm but that was not my, my thing to do rhythm guitar, so uh, I decided to let him do all the rhythm guitar, and I did the, ba the bass guitar instead. So uh, we still uh, have a, a good 50% uh, share of the, of the song. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was quite it was quite interesting where we we're kind of discovering it because obviously Julian, like says, I'd never played Texas blues before, mm -hmm. and it's kind of all I play. Mm -hmm. So I was—it was totally my comfort zone. And then Julian's like, "Um, I don't know what, <laughs> what is even," and uh, so, and it, but it, was, it, it turned out really well. Like his, the the clean, like I, I just love his tone, man. Sorry, we're getting all like really nerdy kind of guitar stuff. No, that's exactly what I want. It's uh, Julian's tone is it's so clean, but mm -hmm. it still cuts through and has that gain to it. It's like it fits oh, that style you. perfectly. That I'm just like I, I can't get it. I can't get that. I just have to crank the gain up a bit. I can just never reach that tone. So yeah, it's it's uh, I like that a lot. So I think it re worked That's really well. That's the magic of Fender music. <laughs> exactly. Everything in that video was just about as Fender as you can get. Yeah. Including... It's probably it's a really American video played by a Scotsman and a Belgian. I was I was just gonna say that. So we have a tech. You said you you love like you mostly play Texas blues in Scotland. Yeah. I love it. Um, but the spoon sliding. I think I remember Hashel tweeting about like needing a, a what do you call it a slide pick or a slide uh... a bottleneck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were you were saying like what can you use besides a bottleneck? Was that you? Did you do that? Yeah, yeah, it was me. Yeah. And then you just decided to use a spoon, which worked out perfectly. <laughs> yeah, it worked out great. <laughs> yeah. 
Surprisingly... He didn't even tell me. That's the thing. He didn't even tell me. He sent me the video and I got it. I'm like, is he playing with a fucking spoon? <laughs> <laughs> See, there's more than ah. one use for it, though. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to say also, uh, as far as the song goes, I really, really love the solos that you guys did. I mean, the whole, obviously the whole song is great, and that's why it won. And you guys had some stiff competition, too, because for a little while, yeah. uh, the succession of witches, I've led Tapas and uh, Lord Biff Music and a couple other people were number one, and then you pulled through, like, the last, I think, day or two. So Yeah, I think it was the last, uh, yeah, last two actually, days. Actually, we, we started uh, the first vote, we were leading at the real start, because... So everybody uh, from Succession of Witches really like it, uh, what we did with uh, Shuffle of Buggy. So uh, they gave us uh, many points and sadly they will never be able to uh, add as much points. So we won uh, with, I, I think, two, two points at the end, maybe? Yeah, I think it was, I think it was two yeah. points just. And so it was really close. Few, uh, yeah, and after, uh, I think, at day one of the voting section, we had like six points uh, mm -hmm. more than them, and then they, they were getting closer and closer and closer. But at the end, we we were first there. It was a really big surprise for me too, because I, I really thought they were going to win really easily. Yeah, because they did an awesome job. It was really amazing cover. Yeah, it the, was. Both tracks were really great, and everyone that entered the competition did a great job. But I was just kind of it was kind of fun seeing the back and forth nature of it um i have it a couple was, yeah, was oh really sorry cool. go ahead sorry 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 i was just saying it was really cool like um like obviously everyone who entered was really good i really liked uh hell six bells he did the cappins theme and i thought that was really cool with the vocals mm -hmm. so i thought i thought it'd be a tie between the two vocal tracks because usually you never really get that many people who do vocal covers of video game stuff mm -hmm. but um yeah i was really surprised it was really cool but uh, yeah. everyone did a great job and yeah. i'm actually gonna Ooh. post a playlist at the end of the video for the people that entered the cover challenge so everybody will get noticed hopefully <laughs> yeah um i had a couple questions for you guys have you ever worked together before <laughs> <laughs> yeah we planned to uh to work together on a mega man 2 dr willy cover mm -hmm. jazzy style but we never finished uh, for no. how long uh, did we work on that i think we started that maybe two two and a half years ago Oh, yeah. oh wow <laughs> and uh yeah the arrangement was done and then we just kind of life got in the way and we never really had the time and then we just kind of went fuck it let's leave it we'll get to it eventually awesome. kind of the attitude of all my covers is fuck it i'll eventually get to it at some point gotcha and i'd like to get into a little bit of the backstory for the two of you um diesel you said that you're a guitar teacher is that correct yes i am okay and you, uh, you've uh, you been doing YouTube for a few years now, as well as Hashel. But you seem to be, I mean, I've watched some of your older videos and they weren't really bluesy at all. And then no. like maybe a year ago, you started using Fender guitars and really like discovering your sound, it seems. Yeah, uh, well, that's the thing. I, YouTube is an interesting thing for me. So I started my very first video I'd been playing for a week or two weeks or something. Mm -hmm. I, that was, a, it was a Metal Gear Solid theme the main theme from two and three and i i learned that that was the first song i ever learned and i really got into the idea of like i want to kind of share my stuff and watch my own progress so what i did was i put posted that video of a, of a lesson and i just i taught people that song that same song just so people like me who wanted mm. to get into this stuff who really connected with kind of video game music and soundtracks in general could get into it and i did that for a while and then that was what like august 2010 or something so mm. i that's how long i've been playing and i eventually just kind of stuck with it and kind of watched my own progress and eventually I, I discovered I really loved Gary Moore and Stevie Ray Vaughan mm -hmm. and I, I love that sound of that that pure raw blues sound that uh, isn't it's not produced at all or very little production in it it's just that kind of pure emotion in the playing mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of tried to put that together with uh, video game music which is kind of what got me into music in the first place awesome so you, you are telling us that the first song you ever learned was Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, it's my first ever video. I learned <laughs> okay. that like two weeks before I uh, posted the video online. <laughs> okay. And Hashel, you've been doing YouTube for a while as well, as well as coordinating um, Game Tabs albums, is that correct? Yes. I started... Uh, well, the older video of my YouTube channel is five years old now, mm -hmm. but 
I I did some videos before that, but I deleted them because they were really uh, really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, album Seidea, it was two years ago. Ah, I don't really remember how it started. Oh yes, I was uh, just watching uh, a cover from a, a guy on Game Tabs, and it was a, a Final Fantasy VII uh, cover from the song Who Am I or Who I Am, uh, I don't remember which one. But uh, it was really close to the original uh, song, and I was like, hey, that would be cool to make a community uh, album with covers from Final Fantasy VII. So I just came up to the, the forum and created a topic, hey guys, what about making uh, an album dedicated to Final Fantasy VII music? And the other guys was like, hey, yeah, cool, sure. And so the the album making took a full year, I think. And when it came up, it was a success because we were uh, shared, shared by uh, a famous French uh, Final Fantasy French fans uh, website, which called uh, Final Fantasy Dream. Mm -hmm. And we got like uh, 1,000 downloadings in a week. Wow. Yeah, so, I, didn't know, I didn't know it was that good. Yeah, we, uh, I don't remember how much downloading the album has now. I think it's 2,500, not sure. Wow. But anyway. And. Uh, yeah, with the, the success and the fun we had uh, in making the, the album, I just had the idea, hey, let's make a second one, and then a third one, and a fourth one, and now we are at the fifth album, which is Final Fantasy VIII. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the story of the Game Dabs album. And also, I wanted to mention that you guys are now partnering with the VG Cover subreddit, correct? Yep. And yes. you're forming a new... Uh, musical monster <laughs> called Pixel Mixers. Yes. So I'd encourage everybody, if you're a fan of video game music or if you're you know, just starting out and you want to be a part of something special, definitely check out some of the cover contests they have and some of the albums um, that they're going to be working on in the future. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's the Platformer album. Is that still open for submissions? Uh, yes. It's not officially started yet. Okay. Well, people can start working on songs for it. Yes, yeah, some people are starting working uh, on songs before they are done with uh, Final Fantasy VIII album. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as everybody is doing platform games cover every, everywhere, every time, Yeah. Mario games, uh, Rayman, Castlevania, Metroid, everyone is doing that. So I thought it would be a, a bit sad to say, Oh no, you, you did that, that one two weeks ago, it's too early, I can't use it for the album, can do? Can you do a new one? Mm -hmm. So I opened the, the album uh, making, so people can start to send songs, but officially it's not started yet. Uh, I'm waiting for the end of the Final Fantasy 8 one to really... Uh, start to make promotion and ask people to join uh, the, the platformer album. All right. And I was wrong. Uh, the Final Fantasy VII is almost at uh, 3,000 uh, downloads. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys very much for talking with me. I'm excited to hear what you no guys problem. are going to be doing in the future. Hopefully another collab. Hopefully. hopefully. I mean, hopefully it won't Who take knows? us like two years this yeah. time. But, <laughs> Maybe uh, in two years. Yeah, try to cut it down to two instead of two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking all the time. Julie and I speak on Facebook all the time and send back and forth kind of mixes just to kind of critique each other's stuff, make sure it's all good before it goes on YouTube. So, I mean, we'll, we'll probably get to do a collab at some point pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm sure. So thank you guys for joining me. But no thank problem. You for Thanks for having us. Invitation. Yes. And just as a reminder, everyone that enters the uh, covers challenge for the VG cover subreddit, you if one of the potential prizes is a, a special interview just like this one. So hopefully that's a little incentive for anybody that needs it. And uh, and now I'm happy to present Shuffle or Boogie from Final Fantasy VIII featuring Hashalo 5 and Diesel C1.
Enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy. See ya. Hey, this is Alan with Game Rec. <laughs> 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 Fucking good job, man. <laughs> Nailed it.